In this short tutorial, what we're going to look at doing is adding a new project to our work section. So, and also having that um, project or selecting if that project gets displayed on their home page. And the thing is, just a quick note, uh, for the home page to work, it actually needs three uh, feature projects. And so at the moment, it's just got the one. So once you click on one of these arrows, it'll actually won't resolve anything. But once you've got those three projects in there, it will work. That's just the way that the theme's set up. So let's just uh, click on our work section anyway. And we'll go in there and we'll see that there's one project being placed in there. And we'll see that there's no other ones in there. We can go and click edit if we want to add some more information to this page. Once you click through to it, once you go to view the project, you can then click edit portfolio posts and then update that as you need to. But let's add a new one now. So while we're here, we can just go, because we've already signed in and you might be familiar that we can just go down here and go into portfolio posts. That's where the, the project files go into. And we'll just click on there and we're just gonna just write happy room just for an example. A few little things in here, we want the portfolio type to be an interior design. This is where you add your, your text. And just a few things in that, you can either type it in there or if you are cutting and pasting from a Word document or in wherever it may be, it's always good practice just to click it over into text mode then paste your text in there. Just strips out any formatting that may be or embedded in the, the text from the, say for example, Word document that we don't want to bring across into the website. So just paste it in as text mode and you can click it back to visual mode and um, do your additional um, modifying of the text. And so just a few little things here to note, you've got the portfolio layout, there's one column or two columns. I'm just going to click on two columns. That was the other specific thing to click on there. Remember how I was saying about on the home page, if you want that, that particular uh, project to appear on the home page, yeah, you need to click this and there should at least be three of these selected. And then in here we've got display gallery, that's more or less the photos that you want to display and so we can do two things we can just click on upload images and so you can either then just go in and upload them from your um, desktop or wherever you may have saved them or if they're already in, in your gallery in your media library um, you can just select them from there so if I wanted to select them from my desktop I'd go select files but otherwise I've already done that so I'm just going to um, show you that they're already in the media library and actually, aha, uh -huh, there, I was getting a bit worried then. <laughs> Where's that gone? <laughs> there it is there. So just a few things to note here too. We're gonna to be adding a new project um, size photos. And I've got a template size in here to show you what's the good width size for that. And I'm just gonna select that one. I'm just going to select a couple of photos from here and add to gallery. You can see that these photos have been added here and you can drag them around if you want to change their order and things like that. And just click save feature gallery. Now we can see that they've been added there. So just a few other little things is now when I click publish, all happy with it or you could preview it. But I just want to show you a few little things here. And I'm just going to view the post because we've clicked update. We can see that there it is there. It's got the two columns and it works nicely. So when we go into our work, we'll see there's the Yogi Threading and Tinny Bar and then we see the Happy Room one. We'll notice it doesn't have that big image there. And the reason that is because that's actually the feature image. So click back over here. So in this one called Happy Room, we just click Edit Portfolio Post and we've got to set the feature image and that is the one that gets displayed on there. So once again, we'll just select this one, Set Feature Image and click Update. Now just another little thing to note too is when we view the post 
you'll see that that, that feature image has also been added to your list of photos there. So you'd want to remove that one from there. You can do that. But also now when we go over to our work, we'll see that there's that feature image size right there being displayed. That feature image that we said, oh, that's our feature. So that's how that works. And when we go back to the, to the home page, when we click on the arrows, that's the feature image here as well. So just being aware of that, when you click on that, it'll take you through to the project. So that pretty much covers it just for um, uploading or adding a project to your website. So if you've got any questions, yeah, please ask.